بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد All praise belongs to Allah Jalla wa ala and peace and blessings of Allah Ta'ala be upon all the prophets of Allah <coughs> and the last and final messenger of Allah the imam of the messengers the best of the messengers the leader of the messengers our beloved Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa ala alihi wa sallam My dear brothers and sisters in Islam I was actually contemplating not attending today I've been unwell for two weeks but the mere thought of not being part of the struggle of our brothers and sisters from hugs kept me or gave me a reason not to say no and be a part of this great evening and blessed evening with my dear brothers and sisters. Saying this, if we read the brochure that hugs have prepared for, for this evening, on the fourth page it mentions that in 2004 a group of sisters got together and formed this organization. A group of Muslim brothers got together and formed this organization of hugs a decade ago. It shows me and gives me great hope that Allah Jalla wa ala at times brings about brothers, Allah Ta'ala at times brings about sisters, but Allah Ta'ala never forsakes the Ummah. That Allah Jalla wa ala always brings out those who will carry on the struggle, carry on the work, and carry on doing good deeds to please Allah Jalla wa ala. And that's why the believer and the Muslim and others, whenever we are facing difficulties and struggles and injustice, must remember that there's always, there should always be hope and positivity in, in ourselves. Saying this, my focus of discussion is supposed to be about rebuilding lives. And again, in mentioning this, rebuilding lives of those who have been arrested and then are released. In saying this, to carry on this concept of helping our brothers who have been released, again requires courage. And that's what the Sahaba in describing the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Ala Alaihi Wasallam would say Kana ahsan al-nas wa ajwad al-nas wa ahjia al-nas They would describe him and say he was the best of the people and he was the most bravest and the courageous of all people. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had those characteristics and he instilled those characteristics in many of the Sahaba and many learned this from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Islamic history and the Muslim history. We find our brothers and sisters in hugs having this characteristic. Well, many of us might say, look, I cannot have direct involvement with somebody, a member of family, or somebody who's been arrested in this war on terror. There are those organizations like hugs that have been at the forefront in defending these families, defending these brothers, supporting these families, and supporting these brothers, showing us a sense of courage that we need to have. And we've heard testimonials. The first time I heard Brother Haris Faruqi directly, even though reading about his case and see what he's been through and his family has been through. And where are those believers who are not supposed to forsake? Where are those believers who are not supposed to forget? Where are those believers like hugs that will come and defend and help? The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a hadith, المسلم أخو المسلم لا يخذله When we say or speak about brotherhood or sisterhood in Islam does it merely mean statements that we will make yes we are brothers and sisters or did the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with those with that statement of المسلم أخو المسلم that we are brothers and sisters add actions to it yes he did and one of the actions that he sallallahu alayhi wa added was لا يخذلو He or she doesn't forsake doesn't forsake and give up on their brothers and sisters. And that's why we find the Messenger of Allah <coughs> sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying المؤمن المؤمن كالبنيان يشد بعضه بعضا The believer to another believer is like a building each part supporting one another. And we heard a hadith the brother Adnan mentioned in which the Prophet ﷺ said that Allah Jalla 
is in the need and help of a person who is in the need and help of another Muslim and so on. All of these ahadith, these narrations show us what brotherhood and unity means. That we are part of that struggle, that we are part of our brothers and sisters helping their families and supporting them and so on. I want to conclude by mentioning a young Muslim who became a Muslim that I knew specifically. I remember in the South London area where hugs is based, many arrests have taken place. The brothers who are extradited, like Babar Ahmad Tala Ahsan, they were from South London. And there were many other arrests that took place. Many of them reavers, new Muslims with a sense of passion and zeal. So one of these brothers was on a trip paintballing. So he's paintballing with other Muslims. And in this paintballing trip, they had, as Brother Haris Faruqi mentioned, a agent, a munafiq. And sadly, as time goes, and we see positivity in the ummah growing like hugs, the munafiqoon also increase. And the agents also increase. So because of this agent who recorded them secretly, playing around, paintballing, he was accused of training for jihad and going abroad. Arrested, spent five or six years in prison. Alhamdulillah, his family was not forsaken by hugs. Many others may be, but hugs did not forsake the family. On his release, we found, again, there were many who did not want to be attached to this individual. And individuals like him, the stigma and fear of being attached to someone like this. But hugs were there. He was given money to start a business. He was given money to go on training. He was given money to su support himself and his family and so on. This is brotherhood. This is Islam. This is Iman. This is Ihsan that we learn from our noble messenger Muhammad والسلام, and the noble ayahs in the Quran al Karim. And this is how hugs have been rebuilding lives of those brothers who have been released and supporting them. To conclude, brothers and sisters, <coughs> I want to ask a question. And I'm a positive person. Do you, think, do you think things are going to get worse? Do you think things will get worse? Have you come across some of the legislation that is being discussed targeting Muslims? Some of the legislation being discussed is like, it's uncomprehendable that really, a country, a society that promotes and supposed to uphold democracy and human rights and so on are discussing legislation and about to pass certain laws and legislation that will be, that will be making the life of Muslims a nightmare. They're discussing the war on terror in this legislation. That legislation is terror towards the Muslim community. My point here is with this increasing, what will be the role of us Muslim brothers and sisters? And what will be the role of hugs? And while we might not directly be able to lend a hand to these brothers and sisters, but those organizations like hugs that will be there supporting, fulfilling the guidance of Muhammad والسلام, an obligation upon us is to lend our support to them. May Allah give us tawfiq. Wa jazakum Allah khairan. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته